All hail a beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm B, and on this channel, we help improve your confidence by way of compliments using the wonderful world of fragrance. If this is your second video or more, we ask that you hit the subscribe button so you can come back to rock with your boy. Today, well, today we're talking about value. More specifically, we're talking about your value as a man. And as you know, your boy is always here to help. That's why today I'm giving you simple tips and tricks to 10X your value as a man. And you can begin to enjoy all the benefits and perks that come along with being a high value man in today's society. If you like to hear it, then listen up. First up on my list today is to be assertive. One of the easiest things you can do as a man to improve your value is to be assertive. But please don't confuse being assertive with being aggressive or being rude. Listen, often people confuse being assertive with being rude and it can be further from the truth. When you think of being assertive, I want you to think of being confident, be self-assured and being decisive. As a man that grew up in a pretty aggressive environment, I'm here to tell you from experience that you can get what you want, how you want it, and when you want it simply by being assertive, not rude and not aggressive. Now, when it comes down to conflict, a lesser man may be quick to belittle someone or be confrontational. And think by doing this, it's gonna be easier for them to get their way when in fact, it's gonna be an easy way to make you look like a jerk. Remember, you never know who's watching, a decision maker or your kids. And although I may not be able to tell you who's watching, what I can tell you is that by responding to situations like this with aggressive nature or conflict will be a surefire way to damage your reputation. And if you damage your reputation, well, you can't be high value at all. Number two on the list is pretty simple as well, and it kinda goes hand in hand with number one, and that's knowing what you want. Some of the most successful, most dominant men out there, regardless if it comes down to sports or business, they can all say that they knew what they want. Now, what I'll tell you here is that knowing what you want doesn't necessarily know exactly how you're going to get it. It's just that you know what you want out of said situation. And hint, hint, often the lady is gonna ask you, what are you looking for? Now listen, I'm gonna be the first to tell you that just because you want something doesn't mean that you're entitled to it or that it's actually going to happen. But what I can tell you is that the difference between someone who is vibrating high or really a high value person versus someone who doesn't or isn't, it just means that they know what they want and they go after it versus people who don't know what they want and take no steps at all. Number three on the list today is super simple, but it definitely needs to be said and that is to be a provider the reality is this if you don't have anything you will likely not be able to be of value to anyone so be sure you can do things for yourself first and then you are able to give to others to be a provider it doesn't take much i'm not saying you have to be the most wealthy man out there but you do have to be able to provide and as all things when it comes down to providing is you have to take care of yourself first imagine being on an airplane one of the first things they tell you to do before you take off is to in a case of emergency secure yourself first because you can't help others unless you have helped yourself right you don't want to pass out in the process of trying to help someone because you have not taken care of yourself so that is the first thing is to take care of yourself whether it be health by means of getting in shape or working out you definitely want to make sure that you are taking care of yourself next in terms of this is you have to be able to acquire resources and you also have to know what to do with those resources so there has to be some knowledge there as well those three things really are all encompassed under being a provider and if you do those things well you should be able to provide with Ease. Now that takes us into number four and number four is another one that is simple but it's easier said than done and that is to own your decisions. Listen I get it in life you have to make a ton of decisions and some decisions are easier than others but 
it ultimately comes down to you and you have to own those decisions. I mean, if you really took some time to think about it, how many times have you made a decision about something and then later on, someone tried to make you feel bad, whether directly or indirectly, feel bad about a decision that you have made. Now listen, I don't wanna sound like I'm talking out of both sides of my neck here, but I do wanna be very clear when I say own your decisions, right? I want you to be firm in whatever decision it is you chose to make. However, However, I do want you to be realistic in terms of were you completely wrong in terms of this situation, right? So be clear, think through it, and make sure that you're taking the right decisions and you're also making the right stances. Now, if someone is questioning why you opened a specific business, why you went a specific route, right? You should be able to stand firm in those things. But if they say, hey, uh, you just punched that guy in the face for no reason, um, you know, own that decision, but be apologetic for it as well. Because that goes back to what we talk about in number one, be assertive, not aggressive. Again, it's simple, man. Own your decisions, whether it's your choice to work out, not to work out, to eat this or to not eat a certain thing, or just decisions in business. You do want to own them, right? The difference between someone who's high quality or high value versus those who don't is they typically tend to try to over explain themselves and or pass the buck for whatever reason. If you made the decision, own it, stand by it, and correct it down the line if need be. Be open to listen, but also stand firm in your decision. And the final tip I have on today's list in terms of how to 10x your value as a man is to know when to say no. All right, that kind of ties back to our last one in terms of owning your decisions, but you need to know when enough is enough or when something does not fit your profile. Although it's only two letters, an N and an O, uh, no is one of the most powerful words within our dictionary. <laughs> A lot of things can happen um, by bypassing the word no. And you have to feel confident enough in the decisions you make to say no. It's not going to happen. Listen, I've been here before when it comes down to, to saying no. I've been such a people pleaser. And oftentimes, I want to say yes. However, never say yes at the expense of yourself, your health, or your loved ones. You have to know when enough is enough or when to say no, whether it's you're not having enough time to put into bettering yourself or you're taking away from the quality of things that you can produce. Listen, you don't owe anyone anything all right be sure to again understand that hey life happens not everyone's going to be happy by the decisions that you make however if you are happy your close loved ones are happy and you can just feel confident and good that you made the best decision then you are well on your path to being a great high value man remember if you're constantly saying sorry well there are power in words and people will eventually view you as sorry. All in all, if you are able to implement these things we discussed in today's video, you will quickly be on your way to increasing your value as a man. And with that said, I hope you've taken some value from today's video. If there is anything else you feel should have been added in today's list, feel free to comment down below. As always, I'm your boy. Big B, beat them with the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.